There was a feeling of excitement here at our BCAT studio on Saturday as girls from the middle school hockey league team, the Burlington Maulers, gathered to meet a local hero. Gold medal winning Olympian and U.S. women's ice hockey team member, as well as Burlington resident Callie Flanagan, stopped by for a visit. Callie sat down to tape a special program when she answered questions from the young athletes and to offer her thoughts on the sport, being at the Olympics, and the hard work and dedication it takes to reach Olympic heights. She also took some time to sign autographs, take photos with her enthusiastic fans, and let them hold her Olympic gold medal. I also had the chance to speak with her and started by asking how it felt when her team won the gold after the epic shootout with the Canadians. I always say it's hard to explain because it's such a unique experience, but um, you know, to win a gold medal and bring it home for the first time in 20 years is, is really unique and special, and um, it's a lot of pride, um, and it was just unbelievable, the craziest feeling ever, for sure. So how did she first get into the sport of ice hockey, and what kept her so motivated to continue training for hours a day? Um, my dad actually went to RPI, um, and so he had all his hockey equipment downstairs in the basement. And so, like I said in there before, I started out figure skating, and then, um, you know, I kind of just wanted to switch over and try hockey. Um, and so I think definitely because my dad was so involved with the sport, it definitely helped me, um, you know, want to get into it and stay in it as, in it as well. I think um, it's really important to never give up and, um, you know, love what you're doing and have fun the whole time and be super confident in what you're doing and, um, you know, just be confident to pursue what you believe in and, and what your dreams are. And so I think, um, you know, like I said, just have fun while you're doing it and have a lot of confidence. Kelly said that after the U.S. team won the gold medal, they were given a hero's welcome back here in the United States, appearing on talk shows and late night shows. It was, she said, a heady but wonderful experience. Yeah, it's been unbelievable. Um, I think that every time we go somewhere and to see the reception that we've received, is, it's unbelievable and it's a surprise every time. And so it's been awesome. People are so excited to see us and we're really excited to share our medals with them. She said perhaps more important than national television appearances is being able to meet with children and young athletes to inspire them to be their best. Absolutely. I think, um, you know, meeting the young girls, is, it's always a blast. And I think it's the most important part of what we're doing and, and sharing our medals with them. And so, um, like I said, it's just a really big part of what we've done here is we're trying to grow the game. And so I think it's really exciting to see the next generation underneath us and to help inspire them. It's really exciting. So what message did she hope the girls here would take away from her talk with them? My biggest message is to be resilient and never give up on um, your dreams because you never know if you, you know, have the confidence to pursue them. You never know what might happen and your dreams might come true one day. Members of the Maulers, who themselves won their league championship, said they were excited to meet an Olympic gold winner who was also from their hometown. Um, it was pretty awesome. I mean, having an Olympian in your hometown that you're growing up in to look up to is really great. And what about you? Yeah, it's basically the same that she said. It's, um, it's cool to have an Olympian in your hometown and to see her. It's pretty cool. I think it was like a good experience to teach girls like us how to... Um, play hockey like she did so we can get as good as she, or try to get as good as she is now. Mm -hmm. what, what did you think when you met her? Um, it was fun and inspiring to like hear like how she like got to the Olympics. Uh, I thought it was a great opportunity and it was nice to see someone who's like a role model for hockey players. And how did you feel when you saw her? Uh, excited and yeah, just excited. And did you learn anything from her? Um, Oh well, yeah, confidence and to always keep trying. Yeah, I got some new inspiration from her. Like, just keep on trying, just keep on working hard, and just come, just do everything that you feel to. What about you? Yeah, same. Just keep working to whatever you want to do. Work hard. Their coach also said he was happy that his team was able to meet with Kelly and felt that her message will help inspire them. Um, hopefully, they can see that they can make it to the Olympics. Say, you know, work hard, um, don't quit have confidence in themselves. Um, that's one of the things we kind of just try to help them play their game, put them in the best position and, you know, go out and win, have fun, and, you know, just put a smile on your face and, you know, have fun doing something you like to do. In our BCAT studio, I'm B News Director Rich Hosford.